If it's tough, I'll mad at In 1997, Winona State made history when it became the first university in the country to offer a laptop to every full-time student on campus. For the majority of students, the laptop program met or exceeded expectations, says Director of User Services for IT, Robin Honkin. You know, 90 to 95 percent of the student body here are satisfied with the equipment that we, that we do provide. And but for a subset of students in various departments across campus, the laptop program can get in the way of getting schoolwork done. According to senior graphic design student Andrew Massat, the laptop program leaves something to be desired. Something, were you doing any kind of encoding or anything that involves a lot of memory? These laptops just fall on their face. So doing video rendering or uh, doing any work with 3D or doing anything in Photoshop that requires a lot of layers or textures or effects, as soon as you start doing that, these computers just take a face dive in the pavement. Massat's sentiments toward the laptop program were echoed by senior broadcasting major Lena Tofik. Um, it's good to have a laptop that's like being offered to the school, or like to students at, at the school, but it's really annoying that they're kind of slow. On Her solution? Yes, maybe make it optional to students to pick whether they want it or not. Unfortunately for Tofik, this won't be happening anytime soon, as Honkin explains. We don't necessarily allow an opt-out option for the full-time students here, and, and the reason you know, being is that you know, the faculty um, that are teaching these classes know exactly what um, you know, hardware, software you know, students have available to them. That isn't to say Winona State isn't doing something to help students who need access to more powerful machines. I mean, we, we really do support the engineering lab. Um, laptops aren't necessarily sufficient for some of the high-end um, software that those students need to run. Obviously, we provide desktops for the engineering lab. You know, high -end. However, labs aren't ideal, as Honkin explains. You know, you look at some of these other universities, you know, the St. Cloud States, Mankato's, I mean, they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of desktops in a lab-type setting throughout campus. And you think of how much room we've freed up from not having to go that route. For one on a 360, this has been Tobias Mann reporting.